All right, let's get started. Uh, morning, Coach Matt here, ready for some morning mobility. Uh, so we're gonna start seated on the floor. We're gonna start with a little ankles and wrist action. Um, so we're gonna take one of those feet, we'll cross it on top. Um, if you don't quite have mobility for that, right, you can keep it out uh, a little out in front. But what we're gonna start with, uh, just grabbing the toes any which way is fine. Um, and we're just going to be pushing it forward and backwards on that ankle. Um, just nice and easy at first. Don't have to really get into it, but just providing a little extra flexion and extension through that ankle. And then we'll kind of take that in some gradual circles once you're feeling ready for that. Sometimes we forget to give some love to our feet. So we'll make sure that we get those started nice and early with it. So forward and backwards, back and forth in those circles, changing directions. And if you haven't, just kind of feel it out a little bit. Then we're going to take those toes specifically, and we're just going to be moving those toes back and forth. So feeling kind of the stretch towards the bottom of your foot, then kind of really pulling those toes in, kind of grasping with those toes, and just back and forth with that. You can have a little uh, mobility in the ankle at the same time if you'd like to, but I really want you to focus on just the toes, bottom of the foot, top of the foot. we will go for about another 30 seconds here. Just feeling through those. And we'll go ahead and relax there. We'll do the same thing on the other foot. I'm going to start with just that forward and back flexion and extension. Certainly feel the, the calves on this right leg are a little bit tighter. So maybe hold those extended positions for an extra second or two. can add those rotations in. We're looking for kind of big, slow circles. And certainly do not force it in any position that your ankles do not want to go in. Just looking for where any sticking points are. We can address those a little bit later. Again, going back and forth on those circles. Do a couple one way, a couple in the other direction. Just looking to get some blood flow down there. And then we'll take those toes. We'll go back and forth on those toes, focusing again on the bottom of the foot. I feel some tension through the fascia there. And if you're wearing it, shoes around all day. That can certainly kind of keep your foot very stiff. So being at home, hopefully everybody's had the advantage to um, be a little bit more barefoot working those little muscles in the foot. We'll go ahead and relax on there. We're going to flip over into all fours. Uh, we're going to do a similar thing with our wrists now. Uh, so we're going to put our, our hands face down on the ground. And we're just going to lean forward, keeping those palms uh, to the ground as best you can. So you feel a little bit of stretch through those wrists. And we'll ease back out. We'll just do a couple of those, kind of lean and hold. Again, keeping that wrist pressed down to the ground. And relax one more time. We'll lean and hold. And we'll relax. We're going to flip one hand over so the back of your hand is on the ground. All right, your other hand is in the palm. So we're just going to focus on one hand here. This time we're going to sit back, trying to keep that palm of the hand into the ground. And you should feel that stretch through the back of the forearm. And again, just ease into it. 
and release. We'll ease into it and hold. And relax. And we'll do one more time. Ease into it. And relax. All right, we'll move that around a little bit. Then we'll flip the other hand over, back of the hand to the ground. And we're just going to lean back. And we'll release, relax, lean back and hold. Hopefully you feel that uh, loosen up each subsequent rep here as we lean back, relax. Last time, put that tension in there. We only are doing one hand at a time here since it's a lot of pressure on the back of the hand in a position that we're not normally in. Go ahead and release that and roll that around. We have some couple extra wrist rotations here just for funsies. Now we're going to drop back down to the ground. We're going to focus a little bit on our neck here. Um, so what we're going to do, it's kind of a similar situation. We're just going to go side to side. Just going to feel any sticking points. I'm going to get real tight right on the uh, side of the neck there towards the back. Since we're constantly kind of hunched forward, those are a little tighter. All right, now let's do some rotation, trying to look over your shoulders as far as you can without actually moving those shoulders. And slow, gentle movements here, beginning of the day. I heard at one time this is a great way for your leg is falling asleep to like rotate your head back and forth. It's apparently it like, connects to your spine and it sends signals to wake things up. Not really sure if it's true, but try it out. Then we'll do some gentle neck rolls here. Just pick a direction. And just nice and easy all the way around. About four or five in one direction. And then we'll reverse and go the opposite way. All right, so we've kind of done the extremities, we've done our wrists, our ankles, and our neck. Uh, let's get to the the ones that are a usual problem, those hips. So we're going to take our 90-90 position, uh, both knees, both ankles at 90 degrees. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Um, whatever knee is in front, our chest is going to be squared out over that, um, over that knee. And we're just going to get a nice, gentle lean forward. We're going to hold that for about three seconds and release. We're going to do a couple rounds of that. Again, just promoting a little bit of blood flow into those hips, into those glutes. It's always fun to wake up in the morning with. Once you get about three or four on that, we'll switch that over to the other side and repeat over that front leg. Just a gentle lean forward. You can certainly keep that hand down if you need to. Or if you really want to challenge yourself, not quite that awake, quite yet. We'll go ahead and lean that chest forward again, holding for a few seconds. But make sure that you want to imagine being pulled forward on that chest. Don't be coming down, We're looking to go forward on that. We'll do one more here. And we're just going to do a nice and gentle back and forth, rotating those legs over and reaching that chest. Hold for a couple seconds and repeat. If you are feeling a little bit looser, a little bit more mobilized, you can start trying to take those hands up as we switch that shin box. And just leaning that chest forward. Feel that mobility come into you. Should be a little bit easier every round here. And again, if you're not quite there, you can certainly keep those hands down to help with that switch. And about one more each way. And 
We'll relax out of that. All right. So we're gonna flip over again, hands and knees. Um, we're gonna get to our kneeling position. We're gonna bring those hands down by that front foot into our extended lizard stretch, focusing again on the uh, on the hips. So what we're doing is trying to push those hips down towards the ground. Should feel a good stretch through the hip flexor of that back extended leg, and as well as the internal or the inside of the hip on that front leg. So we're gonna hang out here for just a few seconds, and we're just gonna introduce some sit backs to these. You know, tuck those toes under and just extending that leg back. Should feel a hamstring on that side. So again, just like those shin boxes, we're gonna hold for about three to five seconds and then we're going to switch back and forth. So we are looking to um, hold for a little bit longer for our first couple reps, more towards that five second range. And then once we kind of um, start to feel it a little bit more, then we'll take that hold time down just for a couple seconds. Just again, promoting some dynamic mobility here, dynamic stretching to promote that mobility. We'll go one more time forward and back. All right, and then we will switch sides. So I'm again, a little bit extended kind of kneeling position. So typically we would be kind of uh, parallel in our lower leg and our upper leg. All right, but we're gonna take that foot a little bit farther just to promote a little extra extension through that hip flexor. So again, holding for a few uh, extra seconds in the beginning couple reps. Taking note of which side is feeling a little bit better, maybe a little more bound up. And we can always add some extra time to those specific muscles. We'll go a few more times on this side. Still trying to keep that chest proud. Some back stretching out. We'll do one more time on this side. All right. So that front foot, we'll go ahead and drop that down into our pigeon stretch to focus a little bit more on those hips. Um, what we're going to do, whatever leg is up front, that's going to be your up hand, and we're just going to reach that up underneath. So a nice little thread and coming back and rotate. We're just going to get a little thoracic rotation action while we're hitting that pigeon. Let's do about four or five per side here. Again, free to hold either of those positions as you see fit. It is your practice. You can feel where your body needs extra attention. So please give it to it. When you're ready, you can switch sides. You know, whatever knee is forward, that's your reaching hand. Reaching up underneath and just rotating back. Let's go to the last one here. All right. Uh, so next one, we're going to lie down on our side. We're going to do some arm sweeps. So on your side, pretend that you're sitting in a chair and knees are bent 90 degrees. Um, both arms are straight out to the side. This top pain, what we're going to do is work, work to draw a big circle all the way up and around. And as we come to the other side, our knees are pressing into the ground. This shoulder is pressing into the ground and the other hand pushing the back of the wrist into the ground. All right, hold that for a second or two. Draw that big circle back around and repeat. So 
So we're looking to get our body as flat onto the ground as possible. I'm just working to extend through both of those fingertips, creating constant tension through that upper back. I'm just looking to um, keep, again, the back of the wrist to the ground as we rotate. Let's be our last one here. And then we'll go ahead and flip sides. So other hand on top, and then just draw that big old circle. Some good uh, movement for your shoulder health here. Really opening up that upper back as well. Getting better at that overhead position. This one is a little bit more active. Like I said, this top hand, the shoulder of that top hand, we were looking to press into the ground, uh, pressing those knees into the ground. So you have a nice little diagonal stretch going across your back. Let's go one more time on this side. Constantly reaching from fingertip to fingertip. And we'll go ahead and relax. All right, so we're going to do a little bit more uh, kind of flow style stuff now that you're all warmed up, all of our uh, ankles, wrists, knees, shoulders um, ready to go. Um, we're going to do a little bit more complicated movements here. So we're going to get up into our plank position. I'm going to push back into our downward dog. Really reaching that chest to our toes, reaching those fingers away from us. We're going to do a nice little spot away from your tailbone. We're going to wave all the way up to our head. I'm going to push those hips down into the ground. We're going to lower ourselves down. Pick a foot, whatever foot. We're going to bring that up and over. We're going to keep those hands underneath as best we can. And we're going to bring that back up. And we're going to bring ourselves back up into plank. We're going to do the same thing, pushing back into down dog. Pull that for an extra second. And wave yourself up. Lower yourself down. Bring that opposite foot up and over as best you can. That's why we stretched out our wrists earlier. And then bring yourself back down. Make your way back up in the plank. Down dog. Wave yourself all the way to that up jack, first leg, up and over. And bring that down. Last time on the other side. Big wave. Pause out dog for just a second. Ease yourself down. Bring that foot up and over. And we'll relax that there. All right, we're going to do one more thing. A little bit of a full body extension here. Kind of get you primed for the day. Get some, some movement. Um, so we're going to take our primal position. All right, in which we're hands and toes here. So we're kind of loaded, stretching out those feet a little bit. What we're going to do is take that right foot. I'm going to have you kick that out underneath, put that heel on the ground. Um, so we're in a nice kind of three-point position. And we're going to bring those hips up as if we're going to do a bridge. All right, and we're going to bring this top hand reaching away from that left foot. All right, bring that back down. Bring that back, and we'll go the other side. So left leg kicks through, bridging up, and reaching that arm over, creating some length through that whole body. Back down, back down. Let's go one more time each way, kicking that leg through, bridge up, and extend over. Back down. 
Primal, last time, left leg kicks through. Bridge and reach. And let's bring that back and relax. And that's going to do it for us this morning, folks. Thanks for joining me. We'll uh, be back uh, on Teams for Impact if you want to hang around, get your nice little morning workouts.